Okay, I think I'm back. Uh, I have literally no idea what happened uh, to my other mic. What I'm actually using, I'm using an old mic with somehow it just so happens to work. An old uh, USB mic. But I mean, for some reason it works. In case you're wondering what I was using, I might show it up on screen or something like that. It was known as a, uh, it's a Kilm uh wireless mic and for some reason i may already can tell when i did like the uh cut there from last part it started um doing staticky noises i don't know why but it, it just did anyway i think i'm about back where i was i think i'm not certain of that but i think i am okay Whoa, 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 hey, hey, go, go, go back, go back there just a sec. And I think I got a open door, go inside. Ah. I push open the iron door and we head inside. What is this place? On the other side of the door is a large empty area reminiscent of a boat. Is this the disposal bat? To be, but not quite what I expected. Oh, something's on the ground. A katana? Rusted army sword. Uh, that now, here's one thing. If this is going off of World War II, too Lothic, if we're going off of the history there, what I essentially mean by that is, <coughs> is that uh, the Japanese did uh, ally with Germany at the time. Now, and of course, I might be going off of whatever the, uh, I think it was Battlefield 1, I think was the name of the game or something like that. I've yet but what it was, but, uh, effectively the katana when, was actually the best, pretty much the best weapon in the game. Anyway. Alright, so we got that. I take what Hero picked up. I signed the flashlight around the area. Are these heads of Buddha statues? Doesn't seem like they're being stored. Is this some kind of garbage dump? Just then. Ugh! Huh? A sound echoes up something heavy moving and suddenly the room is lit with a pale light. What was that noise? Let's get out of here for now. I try to open the door to get out, but... Uh, what? It's locked. We, we've been locked in. Eh? Oh, great! We're going to be drowned. And not in a fun way. Cutting cold in the base and of my sheet. My head snaps up and I see water pouring into the room like a giant waterfall. Water? It's ice cold. A polar bear swim is not something I ever wanted to do. They buy the two I need. I can't even feel my feet anymore. I don't on the ground? Go ahead and open the door! Look at hypothermia! I have to remember. What was written in the document about the closer back? All I see near me are the Buddha heads. Uh, if I remember correctly, with the diamond Oat head. If I remember correctly. I touch the diamond Oat head. The heavy setter and the sound of movement. And the pouring water suddenly starts sweeping in one direction down into a drain. Whoa! When I open my eyes, all I see is darkness. Impersonating me! All I see! Absolute horror! I cannot see! I cannot be! My life for living! How? 
<laughs> had to make the joke somewhere. <clears throat> I quickly lift my head and rub my eyes. My business slowly comes back. Oh, well, this is an intersection in the underground shelter. Looked like we were drained out with the water and fluffs down the pipe. We were lucky. I barely need, barely nearly breathed a sigh of relief, but then I remember Hero. That's right, where's Hero? No need, no need to be so worried. Oh, oh, it's this geezer again. <laughs> so it's you! It's been a while, Sneaky Intruder! That old man, a man in the passageway beneath Manhole Street. Nothing about hero, but... <sighs> my jaw is nearly locked and my voice is gone. Don't try to talk just yet. Uh, the water here comes safe from the Team Mountain Range, so it's, it's deadly cold. You was mirthed in it for nearly an hour, so you'll be slowing your words for a while. Relax, relax, your friend's fine. I didn't, uh, decide to, to grow up breast or anything like that. I, I'm sorry, but the, the way he, his face just pretty much says, pretty much gives off the impression of, <laughs> No, I ain't got nothing to hide. I'm perfectly fine. I'm the perfect, the finest person you've ever done, me. So you, uh, got somewhere to go back to? I nod as I groan. The old man's face brightens like the sun. Well, that's great. Not that I'm demanding a reward for saving you or anything. But, uh, I am pretty darn hungry. The man eyes me. His smile is sharp. <laughs> we get in the car, and even though it is wrong, season for it. I turn the heat on full blast. We dry off with towels and the like, but it doesn't stop our sibling for a long time. While this is going on, the old man... Phew! It's hot! Can I open a window? Where's he finding himself in front of us? Okay, yes. In a way, we owe him our lives, but even so, he's being a pain. Hang in there a little while longer. It was stutters. But what about the fleas, you know? If it's an honest question, it probably sucks for him. But we still kept the car like a sauna. After driving like that for a while, our teeth finally starts chattering. The man's name is Bansi Ito. That's how he introduced himself. But it awfully isn't his real name. As he sits next to me, Bansi gives off a savory smell, like freshly baked bread. It kind of cheers me up, or at least it does for a few moments until I realize it's a sense of dried filth. So, Bansi, what were you doing in a place like that? Bansi remains silent. Are you listening to me? Don't feel up to talking yet. I'll tell you in exchange for food. I shouldn't be surprised. Life's rough. Wait, that's to be my question. What are you two do downing down there? It's a long story. I summarize everything we know. As we are in the market until I catch up to when we meet him in the underground shelter. Hmm, so that's how it is. Huh. You know how big he's late to himself. Do you really understand any of that? It was out of reason mode, but Bansi raised a hand dismissively. Of course I do. Who do you think I am? The terrible gods is mucking up that underground shelter, and you guys are wrapped up in it now. The story suddenly sounds pissy. A gods? Bansi, do you know what happened down there? I said I'm not talking about that yet. I was born into a noble family, so I've always had the ability to see such as can. I stick my name Bansi Ito on it, so you can trust me. The terrible grudge swirling there, and you've gotten fretting, eaten up, blah, blah. We've gotten swept up in it. Because nothing the base is playing on, but I got the feeling he's on the right track. In that case, oh noble lord Bansy, would you tell us? How do we overcome that whirlpool? I was a underground floor. That to be obvious. Whirlpool always have a center. You've got to find that. I hear some. 
that flowing blood and the spirit thing, is that what you called it? The birth of the spirit, the heart of the curse. Something like that to be left within there that's ruling gods. If you look for that, I'm sure then. He trails off. He gazes at the dark road, his mouth hanging open. It's like he ran out of batteries. What? What will happen? The guy simply goes on forever before Banshee's eyes. I'm so curious about that black rabbit though. Oh, that reminds me, you kissy. Fancy calls out a student tree under the glass. Take this, that's a little symbol of our friendship. Underground shelter key. Oh, that'd be useful. Is this a key for the underground shelter? Mm hmm. I found it when I was popping in and out from that place. I held on to it. But I'll let it for you, you for now, you kissy. He just picked it up. Why is he acting like it's a fever? But I have no reason to refuse him. Thanks, I'll borrow it. Damien walks up to us. Hey, you came back safely. Were you able to learn anything? He go butts in before I could see. Wait, just a minute. Don't tell me. You aren't going to believe that old man's story, are you? He's fishy. Oh, that's rude. You want my opinion, a snotty punk like you to be trusted even less. Of course, you kissy. You believe me, right? Actually, yeah. <laughs> I think I'll pull you kissy for you. Hey, now, you feel you okay in the head? Anyway, team is a subject. Quick, can we just move on from talking about this? Nancy, you're hungry, right? The dining room should have something. Oh, food. Food! <laughs> yep, yep, that, that, that's... I would be the exact same way. Wait, food? Food? Immediately, immediately goes right on over to the, to the kitchen. Nancy bolts out of the garage and bandits into the mansion. David, Damon gave me an exploited look. <sighs> you kissy. It seems you've got another troublemaker on your hands. To appease the seven bandits, I offered him some cup noodle and sweet buns. The infinite of hunger, he greedily began scoffing it down like a starving dog. That was enough for ten people. Damn! That's all of it, and I'm reminded of a high-powered vacuum cleaner. Excellent! Oh okay, I did not expect the voice acting. I've been this forward forever. Good for you. Now answer our questions. What were you doing down there? Oh, that's an easy one. Because it's my home. What? It's Nani? Been living here ever since I found it ten years ago. It's not too savvy a place. Keeps me out of the rain and no damn brats messing with me. You now it gets to my cold in winter. I don't know how to respond to that. You and Damien seems to be the same. It was a paradise for me because no one knew about it until a weirdo showed up six months ago. Some woman doused in perfume. It was winter and I don't like stirring up trouble, so I just stayed away. That must have been, uh, Zukawa. I nod and left my thought as well. That was months ago. I figured she must have been left, so I went back, but now there's something stranger. It was... A damn walking Buddha statue! Black Mess Wukong? Oh, the reason why I say that I, I haven't seen it yet, but that is a secret boss you can get. Uh, the thing is, I might, if possible, might... Uh, it doesn't seem to be working for the Steam version. I might possibly try to get the Epic Game version, see if that works. If that works, then that's great, but still. Mm. So much similar to the Dead Island 2 game. I have to refund the Steam version and get the... Uh, Epic Games was, and anyway. I know I'm pretty out there, but even I was shocked by that. I even got this weird scar. Fancy removes his scar, but we're in the mark on his neck. You may not believe this, but that tattoo gave you that scar. I figured it was the Cannon Soldier after all. The Cannon Soldier? 
How do you know that name? Some documents I saw had it. It was an old plan to make a Buddha statue move with supernatural powers. A heavenly Buddha product weapon. Uh, are you nuts? Uh, one thing I've made mention of, and I know I made mention of this before, but the Germans were very heavily into occult stuff. Basically, basically they were a gigantic fucking cult. Okay. Like, they were pretty much, they were more on the lines of, I don't care how much the price is, more along the lines of, hey, hey, contact the devil, I, I want to make a deal, deal. I don't care if my soul gets possessed or damned or whatnot, we're winning this war no matter what. That's about the best way I can explain it. Are you nuts? Where's the power of making something move? That's insane! Now, now, Hilo. Calm down. Little documents that you found, are they still around? Nope, I burned them for warmth. I had a delicious bowl of potato, too. <coughs> oh, could you? <laughs> Maybe take your own advice, Dr. Damien. One method of common sense seems to be rather different than the strange old man. It's fine, my noggin works different from most people. Oh, memorized. I use, as you say, to tell us we need to know about that project. The Heavenly Buddha project was the pet project of some general at the end of the war. So they built that shelter for it. Ta-da, the 13th Army Engineering Lab. To make the cannon so the thing, they did tests on Buddha statues. They were brought from some shrine or something somewhere. That must have been a shrine. They did a bunch of stuff to infuse the statue with spiritual power. There was a monk from Team Mountain, spiritual treasures from all over, but nobody saw anything actually come from it. The project was just an excuse to keep that fanatical general busy. At least, it was supposed to be. But one day, the statue started moving. It went berserk throughout the lab and went crazy on a ton of people. The blood stain and the old corpses in the shelter are probably the victims. Some people survived, but they had red bite like marks on them. The thing went and wrecked the place, then it stopped and never moved again. No one knows what even triggered it. That's about everything it said. <laughs> <sighs> Hilo and Damien are as white as a seat. I probably am too. <clears throat> it's a hard story to believe, but he has no reason to lie to us. I think he speaks the truth. God, are, are you kidding me? A statue going on killing people? Because in them, impossible! And then how do you explain the mark on his neck? Logic would dictate that the moving statue he saw was the cannon soldier. <laughs> the door of its shoulder suddenly starts moving after 50 years. That might be the cause of mine and Hero's marks. What if you flipped that, though? Both of your grandpas got the mark from the cannon soldier. When the soldier stopped moving, the marks disappeared. But with it started up again, you got them because you're the descendants. <sighs> if that's true, then the child inherited their parents' fate. Here's now... That is actually rooted in fact. That is legitimately rooted in fact because of uh, in both inheritance, heritage, and bloodline. Now, that's not necessarily true for all factions of life, but one big thing that uh, you may or may not already can tell is that Fruberry's bloodlines is that you can have, like, let's say for instance for me personally, now granted of course I'm not really any real bloodline or descendancy or anything like that, because of, well, my association with the Changelings. Well, more than online, the Queen and that, that essentially I was supposed to be her heir, like an heir to the throne, so to say. But, I, but there are things in history where, in a sense, they refuse 
to actually keep it up. It essentially, they decided to go against their bloodline, against their heritage, inherited, and use it for something else. So, yeah. <sighs> Hero can't seem to muster up any kind of counter argument. I think she's in sock. I want to ask you something, old man. You say that the cannon sort of stopped moving 50 years ago, but why? Uh, I think it was some spiritual person used that thing magic to do something? Do you have no idea? It's the most important part. Try to remember. It's not that easy, son. The mark might have made me forget. Taking it into account, it's more likely he just completely slipped his mind. It seems we must defeat the cannon soldier to be free of our marks. We'll have to figure it out on our own, if he can be of more help. You see, my poor Dizikisi will be relying on you. I don't have spirits or powers or anything. But you've already faced down four different spirits, have you? Haven't you? A normal person wouldn't have survived. Now that he says it, I guess he's right. I have been hearing a mysterious voice a few times and having real reminiscence. I even caught myself when constantly talking when we were down in the south. So, what are you folks gonna do now? Good question. Might be a good idea to investigate the project. Let's investigate the project in the Sota. I feel like that will be the key to the mark. I guess we're going back in then. It was still kind of sulking, but see, at least we're covered from the sock. We'll all sail the same fate. It's too late to try to run away. Yep, you to find it there. The heart of everything that caught in the curse. You need to stop that cannon soda. That's what my gut's telling me. What are you going to do then? I'm full now, so I was going to take a nap in that park nearby. I'll sit and wait until your fellows do something about that soda. Wait, wait just a minute, you old fart. Didn't we just say that it's too late to run away? Okay, okay, I get it. Are you folks that feed me, so I guess I can help you. New information was added to the sphere fire. Now, um... Alright, so that was the first visit and I got a good bit of stuff. Now... Uh, uh, hopefully everything works out perfectly for what I need to do That You will see it uh, when the part does come. And... I do also, I have also been working on a project on the sidelines, which, um, you will see. Uh, hopefully everything does work perfectly for that. Anyway, um, I think, uh, I should be good. Uh, who's my partner here? Oh, that's, uh, not the one there. Yep, I still have Hero. I'm going to keep Hero as my partner for now. Douse Alley. Alright. Eleven. What's this? Wait, impossible. That must will be... But doesn't that other thing bother you too? Yes, of course I've noticed. That's why without any stains. Something was posted here. That's a clever to find clear space on the wall as if something had been there. Looks like you've been avoided by the bar because something was originally posted here. Or still a boy and something like that. Well, it's illegible now. But so there's the white space that might have been a puzzle. But seriously enough, I can almost see saddles of what looks like letters. Enough to read. Right, uh... I think there's anything else here I can do. Click iron door. The key always I could open it if I had the key. 
with I happen to with I happen to have. Alright. There's a single out of place Buddha statue. It has been cut off. It's a big iron box. Oh! And there's a couple of heads. There. What are you doing here? The box is packed with carelessly tall Buddha statue heads. A real actual head can be clearly seen among them. It's dry and mummified, but going by the long hair, it's probably female. It's one of the experiment victims. Uh, so this is where it was. I'd take it and bring it to its owner. I thought you said that. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> I feel her gaze on me. New information, the box in warehouse one. Carry one head, I need to choose which one to take. Oh. Well, I think uh, the only one that would make sense would be the woman head. I believe would be the uh, one that I need, I guess. Alright, so looking at the map. I'm just taking a good look at the map just to make sure I know where I'm going. <laughs> uh, head based Buddha statue covered in dust. There is a talisman stuck to the nest as if taking the place of the missing head. Oh! I got a worn out talisman! Okay, but sir! I don't think there's anything else here I can uh, look at, so I guess I'll go. Alright. Yeah! Oh! Oh! I forgot about that! I forgot about that! Ah! Fuck me! Okay. Alright. Alright, so that's uh, the entrance. That would mean one, two, uh, keep going, it will be 13, I believe. <coughs> Alright. Going to be 14, I guess. 15. Oh! One hundred million honorable deaths. The land of the gods is indestructible.
Okay. That was odd. Alright, so if I go left, that should give me up to a round of 17. Eww, hi! That's a Kanzi. Uh, with the blood. Uh, wait, ow? To Gondor. Alright, so. Oh! But on this table is a corpse. Does that what happened? No surprise. At least corpse is lying there. Alright, let's uh. <laughs> Please! I don't know what it is, but it, the thing. Mm. A headless corpse. Uh, going by what remains of the clothing was likely a woman. Uh, what's a firing cabinet? Well, big metal cabinet, whatever it decides to be intact. Uh, door is locked. And. I don't think I can. I don't think I can uh, open it. <laughs> Obviously, I'm kind of torso with this. That's in the human head, fits the seven next perfectly. What's on the distorts? Is a control, but they don't look like they're alive.
return to my senses and sat him beside the operating table. And so many clips out of a small key. Okay. You don't look so good. Can you see something red again? Yeah, actually. I seem to hear what I just saw. All the tragedy happened here in the past. It's possible that whatever triggered it might have been whoever that voice belongs to. Who cares about that? The rights in the market are more important right now. Well, I'm not sure about that part, but... Who is right? This isn't helping us accomplish our goal. Except for whatever gave birth to that spirit. Let's keep looking. That small key I found might belong to that cabinet here. Put it into the mark on my wrist. It isn't coming yet. Look at that hero. But they don't seem to be acting differently at all. That's to be slowly closing in on it, but it seems to still have some time. Right now, it's making sure we survive. Okay. Well, in that case, um... Oh god, and some research records. Uh... Thunder, Berserk, Spear, Dan, Sutra, Chanting, Korean, Insanity, only those who make themselves deaf Madness will remain insane. Has feels like they dispose of bad news, sacred optic attack. Destroy human head, the heart of all the things to destroy human head. Gumba blanks and research records. Okay. I think that's about all I can see here, I think. So. I think that's about all I can find here, I think. I think, yeah, I've been about to every other area so far here, so... Although I want to check my bag just for a sec. Just to make sure that I got most everything that uh, I can see here. I, I'm mostly just to make certain I have everything that uh, there would be. Okay, I think I got everything I need, I think. I don't, uh, I don't think there's anything else over there. Yeah, if I keep going over that way, that will probably get me back to about where I was before, so... I think I need to go back the same way I went. And it should be right here. I'm gonna... I'm gonna make a quick save here, just in case. Oh, why right, it's, it's locked? I forgot about that. All right.
Inside the womb. Oh, a number of Buddha statues. All missing their heads. Seems to already stole all the various statues they gather for thefts or donations. It feels like something's here. Maybe this is where the heart of the curse or the sword of the spirit is. I break myself for input from the other me. But it doesn't seem like that's happening. Does it mean I should already know? It's a statue that looks like a divine uh, general. Uh, ah. What the fuck? Hey, hang on, hang on. That, that one was bloody. something in there? Well... Uh... My voice on a distance. Cause of the curse was birth the spirit. There's nothing like that here. No, there's nothing here. What do you mean? What's that in your hand? It's not true that there's nothing inside. Only one thing. I would expect something like this, something that does not belong here. Box here by Talisman has been fine. Uh. Western. Hang on just a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Hang on just a minute. I know what. Wait. Wait, I've seen that before. Hang on, hang on. That's. That's the same type of cushion that I saw in the mansion. Hang on there just a minute, something's off. Something is very much off here. God is disappointed. Get out of luck. No way this thing gave birth to a spirit. True. But the same as room and the voices. Something important was definitely sealed up in this place at one point. Yet there's nothing here. Then the thing was searching for, where the hell did it go? Monster and the spell between us. It is then that now the of pain flares up. Hang on. Is that closing in on all of us or said no it's the spirit is here. Oh Hello? Hello, Tetra Chat hums trumpet the air. It feels like my whole body is numb. Maybe because of that hum. Okay, uh, gotta remember, gotta remember, remember what to do here. Let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Uh, I didn't have who my parts because of all these things. Uh, I think it was Gumba Blanks and the uh, Cargo of Susa Bell. Uh, let me just make certain of that. Blanks, I got the Kura Susa Bell. Try the palm pistol and the uh, to the bell.
Uh, Rain Sword Sword and the uh, Casa Susa Bell. Army sword and the uh, Katra Susa bell. in the mansion. In that instant I understand everything. The heart of the curse that we were searching for. It was the spirit. It was Captain Kujo Manson? Thanks, I'm gonna use it. Ah, uh, if I remember correctly, I think it was the right ear. Ah, uh, ah, uh, let me think, let me think, let me think. Ah, uh, uh, large chisel. And the, uh, Kagua Susa Bell. <laughs> On the white ear. <laughs> did, did I win? Finally, it smiles and disappears. I was in Kujo Manson. Something, something feels off now. The statue starts moving and collapses. It, it stopped, right? It seems so. I don't got the mic anymore, so there's no doubt about it. But my, once again, I'm the only one still cursed. Glad I made it in the nick of time. If my legs were in such a good shape, it would have been over for us. Thanks for saving me up, but you know that we're pretty restless. I thought he said it danger for a group of mark bears to go somewhere haunted. Oh yeah, you did mention something like that when I was eating. So he least up my mind. Tell us, old man. What happened at the mansion? I'm not quite sure myself, but I'll tell you what I know. After you left, I wandered the place looking for something to eat. My mark cut like hair right by a room. Looked inside and found a bunch of chisels and things. He must have meant that room I found. I was kind of out of it because of the mark at that point, but I noticed one of the chisels was glowing all real with a dark light. By the way, that was hiding some awesome spirits of power. Why did you decide that you had to bring the chisel here? It seems so it would be effective against the cannon soldier. I heard a voice when I picked it up. It reminded me of a lady sorta, it said, bring the chisel to you. And that when it hit me. It was what I've been looking for. That thing you mentioned in the car. The heart of the curse that created the spirit. Exactly that. So I hoofed it over here to give it to you. When it looked for the room before, uh, Yusoku said that the Kuja family used to create Buddha statues a long time ago. Possible that the Shizu was used to create the statue that became the Canon Soda. I don't know what that voice was that he heard. Probably something like the mysterious voice that guided me before. You know, I haven't heard it in a while. And that's what happened. So we're heading back to the mansion then, Yukisi. For one, I'm hungry, but I bet Damien's worried too. I left without saying a word after all. Yeah. Listen for documents on the mark, charting all the statues out. It would take more than a day to do all that. We should get back to the mansion and figure out what to do next. Uh, we're leaving already? I'm going to examine this place. I got into the chest to fall into the floor. Sorry, but you have to do that another time. Fine. In exchange, dump one word about this self to anyone else. I'm gonna study every inch of it. Yeah, okay. You know, this is my home. Can't tell boo wooding around here. That's just you're saying that. You don't legally live here. I'll bring you a suit so you stop complaining. Much obliged.
We turned to the country pathway. I might be imagining it, but I feel like the air here is a little less stagnant than it was before. Okay, now that brings up a question. Now, supposedly, now, this is just might be happenstance of what I might know, but chisels can be used for all sorts of things, including even uh, making dolls. Like, it is possible to use, like, a chisel to make dolls, and if you're really, really good at it, that I know of, you can make porcelain dolls. Now, keep in mind, to me, personally, I think dolls are one of the most creepiest things out there. Quite a bit more, but I mean, I have, like, a Rainbow Dash doll, but that's different. We climb up out of the manhole in M. Now's house alley. Damien runs up to a Dresden foot. Even worse than usual, he probably said in number one. <coughs> I, I found you. Hey, old man, why did you suddenly spring out of the mansion? When Mark is gone now, too, what, what in the world happened? I had something to give you, Keithy. Isn't that right, Hero? I guess. I'd rather not think of the consequences if you haven't made it in time. I'm not sure I follow, but it seems he really helped you out. Well then. If I must do my investigation another day, are we splitting ways here? Our marks are gone now. Your Casey still has his, though. This always happens. I'm used to it. But now I might be able to change that. I finally discovered where the statue stolen from Ace Fine Aura. I'm not, but I'm glad for you. It's thanks to all of you. I'll figure the rest out by myself. You should all return to your regular lives. You're saying we should split up then? Uh, you say you'll be okay? Something, some things will work out eventually. Besides, this is Saya Kujo's dying wish. I want to respect it. Huh. Well, thanks. I went back then. I've been missing all those chemical smells from the lab. Good to hear your research is exciting, but don't forsake your humanity over it and end up like Miss You. Like I do that? It's not even funny, by the way. Oh yeah, Mr. Yakisi? Whatever you want to get those statues, I'll help out. Until then, see you. I'll be off as well. Honestly, all this has put a strain <coughs> on me. I'm barely standing upright. Whatever you do, don't collapse on your way home, please. Hey, Akisi. One day, I'm hoping to let the public know about the underground shelter. For the sake of the wandering souls without a proper barrier, I'd like if you help me with it. See you around. I guess I'll go too. You're not returning to the shelter, are you? I'm not that brave. The shelter's gone, but there's plenty of other things down there. We'll give it a few days to settle. So you're still planning on going back? I'm not sure I'll call that a smart move. Comes with living this kind of life. I'll bunker down at the park or under a bridge until things calm down. See you, Yakisi. You can go food next time, yeah? So, now what? The former Mark Bills have all left. So we head to the mansion myself. I gotta decide what to do next. Go! Other boys coming from behind me. I turn to see Bansy in the middle of the road, staring intensely at me. What's wrong? I I remember now. It's either by the saucers. I forgot because of the mic, but I I've met you before. I'm sorry, what? Nani? What do you mean? Well, let me think. That's his chin. I know his memories are probably all a mess having just gotten them back, but I don't have time to wait for him. Huh, yes. We first met five years ago, and then again ten days ago. It's like I've been struck by lightning. So I had the mats in ten days ago. That means I met him before I lost my memories. You know, who in the world am I? I, I couldn't say. I was interested in asking your name, and you didn't give it. Tell me, what do you do? You know, me about myself, please. Okay, I owe you food, food, so ask. Uh, five years ago, the soda about the soda wanted to know about the Heavenly Buddha Project. Gave me food. Huh. Actually, we were more focused on the Kujo family than the Canon Sosa. How did we talk about him? The head at the time was. M but majorly involved in the project. 
He has fame for his spiritual powers, so the army asks him to help. He loaned him a number of his family prized sacred treasures. He really zeroed in on this bit. You know what exactly the army got? Yeah, the soldier had a list. A mirror, a chisel, Buddha statues, Kadavik, and holy talismans. They all returned to the family. It means they're all in the mansion now. We kept popping by a few times, and one day, you just didn't. I only saw you next 10 days ago. Next is... I just seen... I just seen the cat and soda, and you can bet I booked it out of that manhole. You were on the street. Had you treat me the food? To celebrate. Thanks for that, by the way. He's talking about the person I was before I lost my memories. We have to hear about myself this way. You mentioned you've been overseas. You'd only come back recently, about a month ago. Oh, and that when I learned the mark, you told me about it. It's up my mind until just now. By that time with my right arm? Yeah, it had the mark. You're acting all hard though. You go to remember something, then stumble over the woods. Because we're probably in this late stasis. I, I completely forgot my name and... I've been past a few hours after that. By the by, I've got something to tell you. This here Bansi Itu is much of a noble character than Michael of That's why I led it to attack life away from the world of all these aliens. What are you trying to say? I could be crazy desperate, but I'd never seen my dear departed mom or divine providence. Do you understand? No, you lost me. I'm saying I never resort to stealing, even dying of hunger. Here, these are yours. Without a wristwatch and a wallet, these look like an antique, they inlaid with sort of designs. You forgot them at the restaurant? Let me see them. Grab them both and watch to open the wallet. But there's no ID inside. There was no driver's license or company car with an ID in when you got it? Don't ask me! You said you forgot your old wallet somewhere and lost it! I'll be in there. Oh. Look at what else is in the wallet. Bills, coins, and a number of familiar business cards. Now I could be a spirit healer. Ah, those things. He tried to give me one. Told me to go there if I remembered anything. But I gave it back. I don't make a habit of carrying useless stuff. The other Kujo's card was in my pocket when I first arrived at Kujo's mansion. Might have been the one Bansi returned. No doubt about it. I lost all my memories after I met Bansi. I've asked everything I wanted to know, but something's still bugging me. Did I say anything about the mark when you saw me ten days ago? Hmm. Well, I was so focused on eating that I wasn't paying for your attention. Kidding. But yeah, you said the same thing at... As who about the cannon soldier. There's no way a human head on the statue will make it move. But it did actually move. And that's what I thought too. Then, he said something strange. You said what happened 50 years ago was because of the project. It was all because of her. Her? That's not all. You said she gave you the mark. That she loved watching you lose your memories and feel death. You made her kick the bucket once, but she came back to life. That you needed to do the same thing being done 50 years ago to get rid of her. My heart wants to beat out of my chest. I can feel fret running down my face. No way I can keep calm. Before I lost my memories, I know who had cursed me with the mark. Hey old man, who's C? Did I tell you? I wanted to know too, so I asked, but you couldn't answer me. I don't think you were trying to hide it, you just honestly didn't remember. Is that because of the mark? Eh, uh, that's about all I can tell you. Now Kesey, we should get going soon. Go? Where? I'll tell you in your car. I'm really tired of standing, I like to sit for a bit. No point arguing here. I'll just get it out of him once we're in the car. So, uh... Well... Gotta return to Kujo Manson, I guess. Nope, the Manson's out of the way. Fancy clambers into the back seat of the car. His heavy scent feels the enclosed space. Ah, oh, I can finally cast my breath. Now then, driver, take it to the forest by Ace Castle. In the familiar road, all lights along the way are strangely We reach our destination without me having to slow down the car once. 
Then chugs along. I feel the wheels of fate turning like those on the car I'm riding in. Ten days ago, I promised, in exchange for you buying me an extra order of almond jelly, if you didn't forget everything, I'd take you to Ace Fine. Looks like I prepared for everything. But if I was that careful, why didn't I leave myself a clue? Why prepare if I was just going to forget? Did the curve progress faster than expected? So there wasn't time? Or did someone get rid of it? But if I had business at Ace Fine, why didn't I go there while I still had my memories? Something about timing. Waiting for some magic summer clearing to clear away impurity. Suddenly, my old self echoed in my head. Speak the words out low slowly as realization dawned. Some of purification rites. The rites held the fine to exercise evil. Last day of June, you pass through woven weeds to cleanse yourself. I'll try to use that ritual to exercise the impurity. Ah, gotcha! Luckily, today is the 1st of July, so the rites or whatever are done. There'll be no problem now. I see impurities, huh? Purity was I trying to cleanse. When I learned, the less I understand, my previous self is like a complete stranger to me. How many times have it come to the forest now? The creepy art and six trees look the same as always. You know where it's fine is, yeah? Lead the way! You've never been there? First I heard of it was ten days ago. Vance and I push through the vegetation and make our way down the beast trail. We pass under the stone toy gate. We finally arrive at the desolate Ace Farm. The few headless Buddha statues that are left find in the light of the flashlight. So the statues here is an apartheid. We're starting from here. Yeah, that's right. Is it really true that the statues are connected to the mark somehow? I've considered the possibility that the mark was caught by the Divine Wrath, but 10 days ago. You said what happened 50 years ago wasn't because of the Pathic, it was all because of her. This course I've been following the whole time, and at some point I had to fed some of his lie. But what could it be? A sudden one threw me at the start. It feels like I'm looking into the depths of hell. You said 10 days ago. That that altar holds something important. Something about needing to keep it here to exercise the impurity. He poses a small altar and puts it at on the sliding door. Huh? What's going on here? The thing's empty! Don't ask me, it was already gone when I was here earlier. Oh, that's darn weird. That there was a cloth pouch. What was inside? A small fist I sat to a Nenjibutsu or something. It was a ghost in Teddy for the fine. Kuta had used it in the south to stop the mess 50 years ago. Again, it's a Kuta family. They must have strong ties to the mark. Uh, this is about all I can do for you. At least it was enough to pay off the dessert. We should head back, son. Right. I'm still unsure about what my old self was thinking, but it's clear whatever plan I had didn't work. Where did the ninja bitsu go? On the way back, I feel reluctant to go. I keep turning to look toward the fine. Each time I do, Fancy hurried me on to the forest entrance. Well, this is where we part ways. You're not going to ride back with me? I'm going to be honest with you. I got a bit car sick on the way here. Last was were fine, but the curtain here did me in. I just got a nightmare and I hate to throw it up. So I'll walk back. But it's pretty far from here. Kids are such wimps these days. When I was young, I used to watch across the Himalayans all the time. It ain't nothing. <laughs> His laugh is not enough for the whole forest to heal. He waves and leaves me alone. Once he's out of sight, I got into the car. I to the deserted parking lot and drive back to the mountain. As I count the street like passing by, I go over everything Bansky told me. Fifty years ago in the Salta, the cat and shoulder went berserk, but it wasn't because of the army experiments. It was her. The army was able to stand up to the threats of her in the Salta, 
But the Kutsa family had used the ninja boots to settle everything. However, he still exists in this time period. He was the one who gave me my mark. Before I lost my memory, I was planning on using the ninja bitsu like they did before. A village time so it could be cleansed of its impurity, but somewhere along the lines it went missing. Past me probably couldn't have predicted that this would happen. I'm almost back at Kujo's mansion. As my drive comes to an end, I focus on what the most important detail is. Right, who she is. I have hands about her identity, but I can't be sure yet. And that definitely proved that C was there. I think I was going to see me at the counter so to move down into a shelter. Family had sealed her. It would have brought her to the mansion. The sacred office for the positive of C was one, but returned to the Kujos. I get the ceiling more tighter. If there was any way to defeat her, it just had to be in the mansion. The many saw proof, but the fragment of my memories are whispering. Wait, no, it, it couldn't be the doll, could it? There would be no way for the doll to do that. Like, legitimately. The answer doesn't look any different. What? My mic burns, the soft pain nearly brings me to my knees. Seems he has no intention of hiding a presence any longer. In pursuit of the truth. Um. Hey, wait, what the f what the fuck? Hey, wait, 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 what the f Wait, 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 you were broken! You were broken! Mary's voice is soft. I know now. Behind those words, it's hidden an intense lust for blood. You came back to life rather quickly. You gave me nearly a whole day, more than enough time. I admit that Rabbit's attack surprised me. But unexpected event can himself be rather enjoyable. Brought Mary to Ace Fine, we caught sight of the rabbit there. I was the best expected Mary's true nature. That rabbit. Its great love for you pushed it into recklessness. What was that rabbit really? Determined that for yourself. Who are you? Know that, and the answer will come. Though it is impossible so long as you bear the mark I gave you. But how would that... Okay, so you're possessed, but... How? How the fuck did you do that? Mary gave me the mark. I had a hunt, but hearing it from her lips filled me with dread. What are you trying to accomplish? Dragging the living to the depths of despair before killing them. I believe I explained it that in a spirit's utmost desire and joy. And I had your cooperation with achieving that. Co- but that's ridiculous! Oh, have you not realized yet? You did bring those pathetic mark bearers directly to the spirit, did you not? They feared the spirit's existence, trembled in the face of death. I savored the taste of that fear and the spare most delicious. We had our but help out! Just to terrify the mark bearers even more? Clearly, I could have waited for the curses to complete. If I only wanted them dead, that is not the only lie. Mark bears must stay in small groups. Do not contact outsiders. All my instructions were to drive you into a state of emergency. And not once did you doubt me. I bet he's telling me all of this. Because he wants me terrified with how hopeless the situation I find myself in is. I was in a place and I know my face might be a pair of death. we loving this. Don't tell me you created all those spirits. Just to accomplish that. Indeed. What Lady Christine believed the bind was was the cause of the mark, I had never been more amused. The foolishness was so delightful, I just had to come along with you. So you lied? Of course. How could a pyre of broken statues possibly do anything? 
wouldn't be imagining it, but I feel like she hesitated for a moment there. Three years ago, I was sealed away by the head of the Kujo family. I woke here five years ago. At the time, I was still able to speak and communicate, but it seemed my awakening alone caused a number of ripples. Those who died unfortunately in the deaths on cursed lands became monster spirits. These elementary and the abuse, the honeybee mass suicide, mass, uh, that, circles of salt, and that, they all happened five years ago. I finally regained my full power a little over a month ago, then the Buddha statue connected me 50 years ago began moving. The woman killed by the statue was also influenced by my power. It must have been the Kanasoda and Tsukawa. The Kawa believed it was a divine oracle from the Sozo. When it was really had been married, she did as the great Asura said and transformed herself into Miss Su. Once my strength returned, I again bestowed my power on spirits. It connected humans to me and manipulated them into a panic. The mark. I know you've been toying with us, but well, was there really a need to make us be connected to you in some way? Of course. By being in direct contact with you, I could taste your fear. Even now, are you scared of me, Lord Ikisi? I would act actually, believe it or not, I actually would be scared because you think. What? Yes, I actually am actually kind of. Yes, actually. An honest reply. What? Uh, why did quack? Ever since you declared that you would fight the mark, I have waited eagerly for this day. Over the past ten days, I have tasted your fear for the mark. Thick and syrupy and free of hunger. No. Each save of more made me want to smash you to pieces, but I waited. I'm not so foolish as to kill a goose that lays golden eggs. Uh, eh, but I cannot take it anymore, like crossing a ripe fruit and tipping its juices. I to break you down and save you your fear. Fuck! Ah! Fuck me! Okay, that actually scared me. A, a second boss fight? My thought blurred together suddenly. What happened to a Mark Bear right before dawn? I've seen it many times. Is that what's happening to me now? Lord Kisi, wait for me. I'll kick you. Kick you. Here. I can hear Mary stand up over by the sofa. At this rate, the wrath's fate will be mine too. I have to run away. Chuck was in the red in my room. Something was put into my ear. Swipe that voice. But what does my room mean? Focus. Who does that be voice belong to? Yasuko. She said it was someone who loved me. Now he's coming closer. Where should I run? Saya's room. I spin at full speed up the stairs and fly into Seiya's room. Much like the entrance hall, it's dark. Voice said, check within the red in my room. Something there? But where should I look? The floor. So could your blessing is still on the floor. That would drive at this point in time. There might be something lying on top of it. I can't be so as it's too dark. Something went there the last time I was here. Picking it up, I discovered that it's a small pouch. That is a hard thin optic. Went to the moonlight to see it better. It's a small Buddha statue. It can't be. Is this the ninja butsu? It'll be stained with blood and I get an ominous feeling from it. 
purity hadn't been exercised yet. He really knew that the instant I see it, my mind is suddenly flooded with all my memories of the ninja butsu one after another. Fifty years ago, the head of the Kujo family used it to steal Mary's power, with the ninja butsu inside her to steal her. Then about a month ago, someone took it out. That person... was me. Because of that, Mary regained her powers. The ninja boots in my hand look exactly as it did back then, full of impurity. Fluid that built up from sealing Mary's power for over 50 years. To cleanse it, I left the ninja booster at the uncontaminated in shrine, trying to exercise all of the impurity. Already July, some of the cured for case and light is over, so why is it still impure? The object the rabbit had in his mouth. Could have been carrying the pouch then instead of master key. Then an inbuster was taken away from Ace Fine before the beginning of July. Every time Mary by the fine and was scared that she would find it. So it had no choice but to steal it away. The way to the agency room opens. Mary must be looking for me. But she can sense the presence of mark bearers. What's going on? Wait. Rather than say his blood is protecting me? Bring it to where I meet my end. The boys were fit in my ear again. If this isn't where the boys' owners died, they must have met the elf somewhere. There's only one other place. While Mary is in the room next door, I sprint down the entrance hall. We could be lying to Mary's sober in the spot where the rabbit died. The boys that spoke to me and helped me every time a spirit was closing in. If I was working for anything, it must have been that rabbit. Something something I looked down at my hand. The nervousity and purity is gone. What you've been telling me, sire? You said the divided woman who guided me as a soaker without memory. But the Nibiru, the source of the doll's curse, press it to the black mark. That was on the white arm, if I remember correctly. And the whispering stuff. The floorboard creaked ominously. I raised my head to the circuit, rising into darkness before me is Mary, right? Biggest, biggest sounds on the landing. I found you. The mic squirts me. My head goes blank. I was coming closer. My body won't listen to me. <laughs> God, that's creepy. Oh, I did he see? There's an animal around my neck. I'm trying to creep. He's gonna kill me. Sweet an individual and the fog that impedes myself lift. There are circuits to think. To be able to move my arm now. A little bit on the source of the curse. When I have one chance, where should I strike the stick the ninjutsu? The white arm! My impossibly heavy arm is sticking the ninjutsu on my right white arm. He's hiding it. But I'm sure so that's where the black mark was. Marks blow my Mary one after another. They're all the color of blood. Like they're the curses of those who killed. So, what's I, the black rabbit? So, the only thing I'm thinking is that Mary somehow was a very malevolent spirit that somehow 
got out of containment. I, okay. Did, did I really do it? I hesitantly looked down at my right arm. It's gone. The mark is gone. I did it? I finally did it. I have to say it out loud to convince myself. A victory at the strength of Sire's life. I can't claim it completely over, but there's no harm being released for now. The fog clouding my head clears away. My memory slowly returned to me. I looked around the dimly lit hall again. I know this mansion well, because I'm... Welcome to the second floor began chiming wildly like it did ten days ago. When I make my way to it, it stopped, almost as if it has a wheel of its own. That bright, this grandfather clock. I think a skilled ancestor of the Kujo family created crafted it. That one chisel may have been used to make it. That's right, inside this clock. Open that door and stick my hand inside. Think about something hard. And you know, I realize it's a voice recorder. I press the play button. It's a man's voice, a voice I know all too well. Wait, what? Wait, wait a minute! Will Massimo de Cujo? I, I'm sorry, what? I decided to leave the record behind in case something should happen. That doll may dispose of any files or documents. I'm banking on or overlooking a piece of technology. As I listen, I start to remember recording this. I've done it right before I received the mark from Mary. Now where should I begin? It started five years ago. Two years after I became Kujo family head. My sister Sai and I found the doll in a wood box while sorting the warehouse. The moment I broke the seal and saw her, I could sense something sinister. But it took a while longer to fully understand what she truly is. We only there had been some records. But great grandfather who sealed her didn't leave any before his early death. Because of that, his descendants weren't told about the doll. I managed to learn the doll had been loaned to an army lab during the war. A strange old man who lived in an underground shelter told me. Then I went overseas to try to get more information on the doll. But I got into an accident while away and was presumed missing. So Sire became the new family head. I wasn't able to contact her until after she had inherited the title. It wasn't something worth contesting, so I explained everything and had her keep up the facade that I was missing. But regrets are still stated Masamune Kujo was very much alive, of course. I couldn't have used my passport or license otherwise. I'm off topic, sorry. I only just returned to the country last week. Other psychics aboard all agreed it would be bad to leave the doll be. An Enjibutsu inside the stall still suppressed this cut's power, but I realized that it was almost at its limit. If I left it alone, it would crumble. Then it'd be impossible to suppress the cursed power of the doll. That was the worst case scenario, but what was to be done? The answer I came up with was to remove the ninjabitsu from the doll temporarily. Its impurity will be cleansed after a month stored in a pure area. Then I'll place it back in the doll. If I succeed, the doll power will be sealed for a few more decades. But the problem is that one month, I have no idea what kind of curse will be released when the doll is unsealed. I'll do what I can to prevent disasters, but my power cannot compare to that ninjutsu. I can't guarantee anything. There may be victims again, like the tragedy 50 years ago. But this is a necessary evil. It must be done in order to prevent even more people from falling victim. After this, I'll disassemble the doll and remove the ninja bitsu. I pray everything goes according to plan and the worst of evils is avoided. I hope this record isn't needed. But, if the one listening to this has a loved one who has fallen victim to the curse, 
Then I'm very sorry. The recording ends there. Damn it! I clenched my fist so hard, my nail dug in my nail dug into my palms. Yes, the voice on the tape was mine, but I'm furious with it. I don't know that person at all. The market claimed so many victims over the past months. I even lost my little sister, Saya. Was he with just another, you know, a victim that the both both of I? Now, this is some. Now, I can forgive him for this, cause there have been reports of this, but it had to be done. It had to be done. I'm Kozu Yakisi, but I'm also Masamune Kujo. I understand why he felt as if he had to do that. It was his fate. The Kujo family are forever linked to that cursed doll. Two months have passed. The occasional cool breeze signals that summer is almost over. I spent my time putting the case of the mark to rest as best I can. I put Saya to rest by burying the rabbit and contacting actors of surviving mark bearers. Putting the Buddha statues in place of honor was also one of those tasks. They weren't connected to the mark after all, but I couldn't just leave them there. But there was no way to see kept quiet about the status. There was a garden and you do so, Damien and Bansy's help. I carried the broken status out of the shelter and returned them to Ace Fine. By now my memories has completely returned. Things didn't quite go as originally planned, but at least the danger has passed. I don't think my decision as Master Moon and Kuzo was wrong, but at times wave of powerlessness and dependence despondency overwhelmed me. When I think of the victims of the mark, now, Saya in particular, my chest hurts. I want to do something for them as the new head of the Kujo family. About the memories I've regained, I became the Kujo family head seven years ago. I'll admit I was a bit of a recluse. I left the public appearance of Saya, preferring to stay out of the spotlight. The only photo of me are from small local newspapers. I covered Mary by accident in the family's warehouse five years ago. It was a discovery that changed my life. I traveled extensively abroad in order to learn more about Mary. In one country I got into an accident and fell into a coma for half a year. Even worse, that country proceeded to treat me as an unidentified traveler. I don't know if that was merely my terrible luck or if Mary's curse had something to do with it. When I was finally able to contact home, Saya has already become the new head. The West was as the tape said. I had no idea that Mary's power was far greater than I had imagined. All my efforts to suppress her power were completely useless. My memories unraveled faster than I thought. How did Mary come to be in the first place? One series says a doll maker in the 19th century used math to create her. I said the spirit of a young girl who died prematurely took a breath in it in a doll. In the end, it's still a mystery. No one knows what happened to create a doll like that. We only know that each of Mary's owners died tragic death shortly after the turn of the 20th century. See, comes to be owned by the head of the Kujo. He either died in know of the curse or simply didn't believe it. Disaster began to fall in the family. Mary gained enough power to become sentient and produce spirits. Then the tragedy in the shelter happened. The seizing grudges of the experiment's victims and the Buddha statues. They may have triggered her awakening. Whatever Mary's true identity is, the fact remains he altered many people's fate. Mine and the Mark Bearers included. Speaking of, an update on the surviving Mark Bearers. Mo Watanabe became part time writer of a favorite magazine, Oop Art Monthly. He sometimes come to Kuju Band and interview me about spirits and ghosts. Jessica Yosa is studying every day for the middle school exam next year. He bragged in his letter to me about how well he did in the National Mock Tests. 
Oh, yeah, the smug detective. I forgot about him. Just him about something he brought me a drink like he promised. Seems he'd be thinking about becoming a private detective. He actually asked me if I wanted to join him. Is he serious? I don't know for sure. Soon enough, the king was picking fights, riding his bike, and doing whatever he wants as usual. But recently, out of the blue, I heard he joined his neighborhood baseball team. Christina Amura had started writing an essay exposing all of her past affairs, trying to get back into the industry. Julia Mordren was able to see her father. Lately, she started asking me for advice about how to get her parents to reconcile. I have no idea if I helped at all, but she said they sometimes have meals together now. It and I had gone back to serving the BBS every day as usual, but as new as he's been stopping by the city employment center because he wants to get a steady job and be a role model for Susie. Uh, best, yeah, best of luck. A day doesn't go by that I don't see Aya Kazura on TV as part of Love and Hero. They sent a ticket like they promised, but I need to drum up some courage to go to a concert for teens alone at my age. Yeah, I can't see that. Uh, Tuwako Yusoko is still working on a fortune teller in Gizna. Apparently, she believes I have spirits of power or something. They're gonna meet customers with spirits of power into the mansion. I guess they stop. Uh, Maduka Hero spends her days working on a research that also be sitting in the shelter. He, her and Banzi scrubber a lot, but I wish she stopped complaining to me about it. Sergio Damon seems to be doing better now. Like a weight's been lifted off his chest. He's in the process of visiting officials to publicize the shelter and build a memorial for it. Banzi Ito had returned to his beloved underground shelter. Left by the mansion sometimes, filling the place with his scent. Of course, he comes to beg me for food. Now then. I finish my break and return to the workbench in the corner of the room. Over the past two months, Marius has managed to repair herself. Her power hasn't completely come back yet, but she's still extremely frightening. The Nibisu alone will be enough to continue sealing her powers in the years to come. I must prepare extra spiritual methods. It's taken a long time to get those ready, but today I finally finished. Once everything is complete, I will place an individual inside Mary. Finally, it's over. Pick Mary up and put her in a wood box. Five years. This all started when I opened the lid of this box. This up at me from the depth of the box. I have no idea if she's aware of what's happening right now, but then no doubt she will gain her power when the new Jibutsu wears out decades from now. I'm determined to find a way to destroy this cursed star before that happens. Till that day, you need to stay asleep, Mary. And I guess that's the end of the main game. Yeah, that's uh, basically it for the main game, I guess. Now, uh, I have heard, uh, while well, looking like through this map thing here, that there's apparently a sixth chapter. Now, I don't know if uh, I got everything set correctly for it or not. I don't know. Oh, and there you go. You got some, of uh, course, um... Are the obvious there for the, uh... Oh, that's a person! Oh, I wonder if that was trees or something, but... No, that's... Uh, I am gonna keep my, um... Review of these for now. Not, not really there for now because of obvious. But... Yeah. I'll just let you, and of course, in case you're wondering, no, I did not use the guide to cheat or anything like that.
I didn't get the good ending for Gary had been added to the title screen. Okay. Oh. What's this? And now a lot of time have passed. 